Well, what's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on No Man's Sky. When we left off in the last episode, we managed to finally get a new ship, which is, I guess, if I'm reading that on the right panel there correctly, it's in Jolahan S72, maybe? Possibly. Um, so, we've got a couple of things going on. I used a little bit of plutonium in order to upgrade the suspension fluids that I had to electron vapors. Now, I do need some more zinc to make them antimatter, and then I'll be able to make them into warp cores. So that should be two, which will get us up to, like, 60% for our hyperdrive, which is Q. I did use... Oh, I have enough heridium to make that. Okay. So when we left off, though, we were here, which admittedly... I don't remember where here is. Um, let's see here. I could save the waypoint thing. I think this was a sentinel place. Nope. Stand corrected. This was a... Outpost place, a very small one. Did I use this? I don't think I used this. Long ago, it seems an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. Ooh! Now this is a new number code. So 1 to 2, 2 to 6, 6 to 24, 120. Ooh! Okay. Um. Two to 4. This is interesting. I'm trying to figure out what the actual... Because... Two... Times... Three... Okay, so one times two is two. Two times three is six. Six times four is twenty-four. Twenty-four by five? Would, pr would probably be... Um... Let's see, that would, let me, I'm, I'm actually pulling up a calculator, because when it gets to a certain point, I start losing my speed. Okay, so 24 by 5 is 120, so 120 by 6 is 720. So that's the one, okay, that's what it is. Definitely did not do that one before, because I haven't seen that encryption pattern. Distress signal detected, okay. That's, is that on this planet? Wait. What the heck was that all about? Was the distress signal here? Or did it, the camera just get screwed up? Of course, I find a crashed ship right after I bought a new one. Well, oh well. Wow, this storm is like cutting through my environmental protection. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh wow, that's a decent little clip away, huh? Wow. All right, new plan. We're actually going to leave the atmosphere and uh, do the whole pulse drive thing to get over here, because that's really far away. Oh. Well, my pulse drive came up and said I could use it. Very fine, be that way. on this planet, though, I think. That's better! Oh, come on. I guess that's still better. Oh, I'm actually still coasting off of the pulse drive. Alright, so we need to get higher, then. And actually, while I'm out here, let's go ahead and pick up some uh, thalmium, because I could use some more. Since 
since we're in the neighborhood. Okay, this should be good. There. That's better. We should get less interference from this angle, I think. Ah! Man, I really need to, like, go out further, huh? works. Dog got it. Alright, that's fine. Close enough. I can handle 30 seconds. As long as that doesn't keep ticking up as I slow down. <laughs> it's a Microsoft Minute. Okay. Let's see how this works. Oh, apparently I've got to keep the button held to actually keep moving that quickly. Whoa. That's a weird atmosphere thing we got going on. I can't say I've ever seen that one before. There's another place over there, too. It looks like we are still in a storm, though. Or not. Plutonium. I need more of that. Uh-oh. Sentinels are around. And they're, like, really, really hostile on this planet. Well, I don't know about really, really hostile, but they're pretty darn. Hostiles approaching. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't see any. Oh, where is he? There he is. Anybody else? I think we're good. Okay. Whoa, oh, oh, I hear more. Let's see if we can get inside here. Don't leave me alone. Okay. New technology plasma launcher companions. Plasma launcher. Oh, rebound. Plus two. Okay. Where are you? Okay. So. Got some of that stuff. Let's see what this has for us. The transmission readout suggests that long ago a distress signal... Oh, okay. It's kind of the same thing. Um... Ooh. 99 minus 7 would be 2. Um, 4 and 6. 5. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's minus a difference. So the first one was minus 7, then 6, then 5. So it would be minus 4. So it should be 77? Ah! Another one. Wow, there's a lot of distress signals on this planet. I guess that doesn't bode well now, does it? Crash ship. Another one. Unless that's the same one. Five. No, there's two different ones. Okay. 
All right, so let's talk to this guy. You gotta be kidding me. That's so dumb. Why can't I talk to anybody just because my inventory's full? <sighs> okay. Um, we got plenty of plutonium. So let's go ahead and use it to refuel some stuff. Now we have a max one, so let's go ahead and put that one on the ship. Throw that on the ship. Throw that on the ship. Oh, am I over on my carbon? Okay, whatever. Maybe we'll give him some. Atlas, something, something, something. Oxide, something, something. Electron life form is processing a signal that emanates from a distant location deep in space. Endless processing units are combining to crack the code of a strange mathematical language. Rare elements are being pulled from the resource vaults at its feet, but some are running low. I feel bright lights constricting and directing their attention upon me. Take elements from vault. I think he's wanting me to give give him stuff, so let's do titanium. The oxide feels the cracking procedure. A faint orb glows red on the screen, then slowly fades. Oh, stamina enhancement. Oh, I already know that one. Thanks a lot. Oh, he's a priest entity. That's different. I didn't pick up on that before. Corvax entity? No, I'm not. Um, as long as it turns and talks to them... Its mask becomes momentarily blank, it swiftly be comes back online, but I can't help but feel that its piercing gaze is that of a different entity altogether. Uh, new word. Contact. That's a good one to know. Okay, so it did use some of the carbon sweet. Um, Alright, so... Let's skedaddle. My ship. Oh crap. There wasn't a uh there wasn't a storm going on before. Okay. Let's take off. That's 30 seconds. Where was the other one? I got another beacon over here. What kind of place is this? It looks so tiny! Planes of high. Wait, did I save that? I didn't save that as a blueprint. Dang it. Or not a blueprint, a waypoint. I need to go back and get that one. Okay. That's kind of just a stop, I guess. I have enough plutonium at the moment that I'm not super worried about having to refuel my ship. Especially since I can grab some more right here. <laughs> Let's switch this on. I do like the dust storms and stuff, that's kind of cool. Oh, I need zinc. That's what I need to be looking for. Not plutonium, I need zinc. Uh-oh. Sentinels aren't happy with me. Let's get out of dodge. Hey, <laughs> he's coming for me. Nope! Later, buddy. Probably should stop at this one, too, because it looks like it would probably have... A store or a trading post. Oh, does it have a landing pad? Where am I landing? The ship's like flying off into nowhere. Good 
news is we're out of the weather. Oops. Didn't really mean to do that. I meant to open that. Uh, bad news is I don't see any. Ooh, a range boost plus three. Interesting. I don't see a terminal though to sell stuff. We do, however, have one of these. The image of the observatory's former electronic overseer flickers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that one before. Alright, so we've got a rotator. So 6533. The stars reveal their secrets. I have discovered a new world. See, it keeps saying like I've discovered a new world, but then it just gives me like ruins or something on planets. So I'm like, that's really not discovering a new world, is it? Okay. Now, let's see... Ah! Version 2. I still don't know how to upgrade that. I need... I, it's probably something I should be figuring out. Okay, let's see... Are you zinc? You should be zinc. Okay, that's what I need. Oh, that's tempting. That is so tempting. Gravitino ball. I should grab it and just run. Do I have inventory space? I have one. Okay, let's see. How much do I need? I need 20 zinc. Let's look for some more zinc. And if I can get enough zinc, then I can clear up my antimatter spaces. And with that... I should be able to make fuel cells, or warp cells. Alright, how am I looking? Sweet. So let's do... wait, why do I have... I have a... oh, I'm too far from my ship. Okay. And with that, then I can just grab these gravitino balls and run. We're gonna get in the ship for a second. Just to get out of the elements. Alright, so antimatter. And warp cell. Boom. Alright. Now we can refuel this. That's gonna take up. That's going to get rid of two of my inventory spaces. And I honestly thought about using the plutonium up a little bit, but I really don't want to if I can help it. Because I just end up using so much plutonium on these thrusters. So it just seems like it would make more sense to keep my plutonium levels high if I can. And plus, like I've said before... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. It won't kill me. Uh, plus, like I've said before, uh, when you get out into space, the thomium's really easy to find. Let's see if I can throw you there. Let's move you up there. We're gonna move you over there. Okay, so we're gonna use from that pile first. Alright. So, let's grab... How many of these are there? There's two that I can see. Wow! They're like... No joke. Probably should try and fight them. I've never fought the level 3 stuff. Wow, they're far away too! What the heck is that about? Oh, it's the dog things. Yeah, I've never even dealt with them before. Let's see what it's... Let's see what we can do. Am I even doing anything to this thing? Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> well, there you go. Dimensional Matrix. Okay, so I could totally do that, 
but there is this pesky like having to run over there and get them thing that we have to deal with. So I'm just gonna go in here. Okay, 27. I need to find a place to sell some of this stuff. Though there was, there was something that I needed. Oh, you actually need Gravitino balls for that one. That's interesting. I can make that one. Aquatic Respiration Aid, Sigma, and Theta. I feel like there was something I needed these Neutronian or Neutrino modules for. Oh, I needed a dimensional matrix for that one. Accelerated fire. That's plus three. That's kind of cool. Uh, there it is. Pulse jet tau. So neutrino module thomium and nickel. Provides increased maneuverability and longer boost during space flight. Also improves thomium consumption. Okay. I was hoping more for the warp drive, though. Is that the same? No, that's not the hyperdrive upgrades. I don't have any of those. So I'm not super worried about that, then. Because I haven't been having too much of a problem with the pulse drive. Uh-oh. Get in your ship, get in your ship, get in your ship. Alright, let's head over... to... Menace! Destroy 40 Sentinels. What?! I'm a menace to sentinels. What now? Alright, crash ship. Let's see what we've got going on here. And we have two. So we don't necessarily need to grab this one if this is the... This has 20 slots. Let's compare. I hope I'm not going to die. So I have 19 in this one. Hold the transfer between inventories. All of this stuff is busted, but it does have a... Right, what the heck, man? I'm like in my inventory screen, you jerk. Buzz off. Actually, that's probably a good thing, though, because I think my thermal protection was going down. Uh... Alright. Um, I'm a little conflicted on this one because it has more slots, but it has more of them used. So, it has more upgrades. Are you kidding me right now? I'm trying to... Go away. That's annoying. That's, like, really annoying. Ah, inventory's full again. Of course it is. Are you kidding me right now? Leave... Just leave. Go away. Are they really that mad that I'm, like, looking at a ship? Good grief. Because they, they just walked right past me, so it's not like he really cares. And I can't get in my ship because of the milestone thing. Come on. Yeah, like, they're flying right past me. <sighs> Stupid things. Alright, um... Try this again. Seriously, these sentinels are kind of getting on my nerves, though. Because it's like, they leave me alone, I interact with a busted ship, and then they come flying at me. So it has multiple weapons. One, two, three, four, six, seven open bays, plus upgrades. Hmm. That's really tempting. 
That is really tempting. Because our current one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine open. And then a few upgrades. So it actually has more stuff going on. Alright, I hope I can remember where this is, because I want to investigate the other one first. Before I just go off and like, yeah, let's just pick that one. Okay, there's a ruin there that I'm kind of passing. So it's essentially south. Okay, so this looks like a fighter that I'm looking at, so I don't think this one's going to be as... Wait, is there a beacon? Is there a waypoint beacon for these that I just missed? Because there probably is. No, don't see one actually. Oh, yes there is. It's a distress beacon. A high-tech ship's emergency system activates as I climb on board and a hologram appears before me. The lights in the mask it wears seem wide and dim. The pilot calmly reports news of its imminent demise. The noise of explosions and tearing metal can be heard. The hologram disappears, leaving an array of glittering technologies and devices behind it. Some of them still look operational. Search for transported goods. Search for functional technology is what I'm going to look for. Fascinating technology advances. I scan a blueprint and can now construct one of these advances myself. Ooh, warp reactor sigma. There we go. Iridium, copper, dynamic resonator. Hyperdrive is granted more robust deep space exploration capabilities and able to leap to stars previously out of reach. Please exercise caution while traveling alone in deep space. User is advised to access hyperdrive system through galactic map. Can you access it any other way? Alright, so I don't think this one's going to be as good. Oh! It has 20 slots, too! Well, crime and Italy. Okay. Um, beam impact. So it's got beam impact, beam impact, cooldown, cooldown, shield enhancement, uh, cannon damage... Wait, that's phase beam and ca Oh, okay, so this is for the regular cannons. Hmm, now that is tempting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight open, but it's got way more upgrades. They all need to be repaired, obviously, but... Okay, let's look at the... I have enough to repair the launch thrusters. I don't have enough to repair the hyperdrive. I could probably repair... Oh, well, maybe not, because I'd have to... Mm. That's tempting, though, because it does have more bays. Since I can do the launch thrusters, I think I'm going to do it. Let's see. Plus two, plus two, plus three, plus one. Because it pretty much has everything but better. Although, you know, I'd have to work on refueling my warp cores and all that stuff. I think, I think we're going to do it because it is one more bay of slots that we have upgrades. And it's more of a fighter than the one I currently have. I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know. I just bought a ship and now I'm transferring again. What are you going to do? Um, besides dismantle all this stuff. Because, I mean... You've got to be kidding me. This is really starting to bug me. Wait. Did it keep all of... It kept all my stuff. Oh, okay. Oi, this is really starting to bug me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're in a storm. Hmm. 
Well, this kind of stinks. Of all the times to find a bunch of stuff. I need a place to sell things. And I don't have a beacon, really, to come back here. Alright, that's 13. That's 4. <sighs> okay. I don't want to leave those. These aren't seemingly very hard to come by, though, because I basically just shoot sentinels, so I'm going to drop these, I think. As well as this one. And this is like half of nothing, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, I'm not going to bother refueling anything because we're going to leave it, so there's really no point. Okay, see, that's part of the problem. I was full on platinum already. Oh, yes, I definitely... I have these sheets in my suit inventory, you dumb thing. Alright, we're gonna have to do some micromanagement here. That's extra platinum. I need this because I need it for repairs. This technology is critically, critically damaged. These aren't that hard to make. The rest of these... Alright, so I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and... Let's transfer this back. And we're going to throw one of these in here. I don't think I need that for anything. Okay. Launch thruster critically damaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's work on repairing real quick. Um, that takes care of that. What else? Phase beams we can repair. Pulse engine we can repair. I need a dynamic resonator for that. Let's see what else. That's not hard to make, so I can probably fix that. What needed the chrysonite? Was this one? Is that the only one that needed it? Looks like it. Alright, let's go ahead and fix that. I need copper for that. Uh, how much iridium do I need for that? 100, and I have 260. Uh, that's... That's going to be a close call. I don't have copper. Okay. So fuel that. Good enough for me. Move you down there. Actually, let's move our main three over here. And then these can all be kind of like extra resources type of thing. Um, craft products and inventory slot. Alright, let's see. Maybe... I don't know how to make that, though. It says to craft them. Oh, wait, maybe it's in this? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to make the resonator thing. That's unfortunate. So our hyperdrive is down. Our heridium, we need 100. So I have 160 I can still use. So I don't want to do that just yet. But that'll get that up and running. Okay, still have enough of that. So I need more heridium and more 
karite sheets. What does that require? Iron. Okay, and let's do another one. How many do I need for this? Three. Okay, so we have our sheets that we need for that, so that's fine. Um, yeah. So, I wonder what that does with that ship over there, then. Do I just leave it, or can I, like, go pick it up and use it for something? I wonder. Um, let's head over to these ruins and see what we can find. And then we might want to go over in that direction and see if we can find... Oh, there's more gravity. Gravity balls. Um, we might want to go over in that other direction and see if we can get um, any place that has a sellable terminal. Required... What do you got for me? The ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with voices of the Korvac echoes. The sentinels forbid all destruction. Huh. The sentinels forbid entity disconnection through violence. There is a way of peace and fulfillment of logic and probability. They teach us that each life's value from the smallest to that which gives life to others is equal. That's not my experience, man. I break like a tree and it just wants to kill me, so how is that for... I mean, I know it's... I guess it's life for a life if they see all life as equal, maybe? Still. I mean, I'm trying to survive up in here. Okay, was that the only... words, I wonder? Knowledge stones. Oh no! Woo! That was close. That was really close. So I'm pretty sure that's kind of all there is over here. Do I have room? I do. Man, I kind of want to grab... I'm going to grab another one of these, I think. Uh, on second thought, since I'm already aggroed, let's grab two. Ow, ow. Let's see how fast this new ship can fly! I wonder if I can shoot them. I don't think I can, like, while I'm in my ship. So, by the looks of things, ooh, we're in the Ad Adomeza S94 now. Come on, deactivate. Okay, this is some kind of antenna thingy. And then there was another thing. I don't think either of these is big enough to be a city or a base or whatever. Where are you going? Yeah, landing area not clear. That's because you're flying away from the landing area, you crazy thing. Crazy ship. Alright, let's try it like here. Off planet, abandoned building. Oh, that's cool. It comes up and tells you when it's off planet. That's, that's good to know. Uh, let's get some iridium going on. Since we're gonna need that for the... Come on! Be gone. Where are you? Be gone. Oh, no! Eh, it's probably just gonna give me those stupid things anyway. Oh wow, it's it's not joking when it said falling. It's like falling, falling. Woo. I'm a getting, I'm a getting. All right. So I can repair this. How much do I have of this now? 185. Let's just repair this and grab some more before we leave. So I need like 60 more of the heridium. Wait, where is the other heridium? Oh, here it is. Makes sense. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. I still don't have any copper, unfortunately. That would be nice. Let's refuel this. Okay. So we only need like 40 or 60. Forget. Eh, either way, that should be good enough. Okay. Oh, I don't have the dynamic resonator thingy. Darn. Keep forgetting that part. Okay. Well. I didn't... Oh. Eh, I didn't even go check out those waypoint things. Stag nabbit. They're not really what I'm looking for anyway. I need a... Um... Why am I flying sideways? Level out, dude. Alright, so we're in a little bit of a pickle here because... I'm not too far away from the ones that I was at before. Like the civilization areas. So now I'm just not sure... That's not really what I'm looking for. This is where I came from? Oh, that's another signal thing. Let's drop here. I think that to the left is where I came from. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Because it doesn't have a beacon. Okay, let's make a bypass ship. Real quick. We're gonna grab some lithomium, because why not? It's right there. Alright, now. We haven't done a monolith in a bit. Oh, I could do a shelter though and upgrade my. Let's do that. Let's see if we can find a, um, a drop pod or something where I can get another armor upgrade. Oh, that's not far. Alright. Oh! not strike me as a place where I can upgrade my suit. Unfortunately. It does have another signal, though. I might head back to that other place. Power canister. So let's run through here real quick. New technology, bolt caster, impact damage. I'm not even finding some of these rare materials though, like Radox and the Omegon. What was the other one that they just showed? Iridium, copper, you know, like I'm not really finding any of this crap. Oh, I didn't go look at that. Just on a mission. I'm on a mission to sell stuff. Alright, no, I haven't been here, and this does look like it's large enough. It might have. It may have a. Um. Okay! Just fly through the building, why don't you? Never hurt anyone. So there's a signal scanner over there. Where's the checkpoint? That looks like a knowledge stone. It is. Ooh, there's a few of them. Only two. Ah, get me through. Ricochet. It's making all that racket. Two. 
actually. Oh, and there's more graviton things. If there's a store here, I'm so grabbing those. Core. There's a tech thing over there. Artificial. There's a plutonium thingy. Is that? I don't think that's the beacon, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. It's the beacon that I missed. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in this area. Okay, so we're gonna save it, we're gonna run in here, see what the deal is. Um, there it is, there's the door. Let's see what they got going on. Tell me there's a terminal. Ugh, no terminal, dang it. I need to sell things. I know, because I need to sell things, and you're not letting me, because there's nowhere to sell anything, ever. <sighs> Alright, let's just throw that over there so that we can talk to this guy. Because even though we have to give him things, you can't talk to him if your inventory is full, which is retarded. But, you know. It's like, I'm gonna give you stuff, but I have to wait until I have space. Why? I don't know. Data research unavailable. The electronic life form narrows its mask, lights in frustration, and furiously taps at its workstation. It looks at me with agitation, presumably doubting that a low intelligent being can help it access the terminal. A bypass ship would certainly help here, but whether the life form would appreciate the illegal device is unknown. Try terminal myself. Let's see how that works. Life form pushes me away from the terminal. It clearly resents my interference. Okay, well, fine. He probably would have been fine with the illegal device. Entity, traveler. Shine brightly, lean towards me, and suddenly bright flashes burn into my retinas. While the bright after image subsides, the entity makes it clear that it is ready to converse. New word. Bathe. Okay, then. Just what I always wanted to learn, the word for bathe. Okay. Let's see what this had to offer. Facility is more like a science lab than an observatory. The stargazing equipment sitting amidst a sea of advanced experiments. Perhaps the former custodian was too preoccupied to notice the beacon blinking invitingly on the screen. If I can work out the code, I'm sure I can decipher its origin. Um. Ooh. Okay, so it should be 6436. I punch the numbers in the beacon reveals a new location. Reason the location of a new location. That was complicated. Okay. So I still have no way to sell things. That's what I really need. I need a place to sell stuff. <sighs> Alright, so in the next episode, we're probably gonna wrap things up here for now, but in the next one we'll probably use this signal beacon to look for, I don't know best option for finding a sellable place, or we're just going to fly back up to the space station because I need to sell crap. So anyways, on that note, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.